Slay the Spire. Let's talk about this game for a bit. Let's dive into the game mechanics of Slay the Spire. Slay the Spire, a deck building roguelike game. Enter the world, choose your character, build up your deck, make your way up the spire, defeating foes to ultimately take down the heart of the spire. The main mechanic of Slay the Spire is combat. Combat through the use of cards that each character has and is unique to each character. There is your HP, damage you do, and blocking damage. The trifecta that will make and break your progress through the spire. Enemies will show their intent, strategize around this. Each character starting with your own relic to use. Relics are power-ups which you can collect through battle, chess, or outright purchasing them at a merchant. More on this in a bit. Each relic provides different bonuses. Choose your relics wisely. Now, to make your way up the spire, each room is procedurally generated containing different rooms. A question mark, entering this room only, the game knows what awaits you in here. Either a boon or an enemy. Find out by entering. Chess, a room which a relic awaits you. May it be useful or useless, it's entirely up to you. Enemy rooms, they contain common enemies. Each room could be the same type of enemy or different enemies with different skill sets. Defeating enemies will provide you gold to use and cards to obtain to further enhance the potency of your deck. Now comes the merchant with the logo of a bag. Entering this shop, the merchant provides you various resources to purchase. Relics, cards, potions, and even the option of removing a card. The Elite. Enemies that are highly dangerous. Be sure to know its moves and have cards that can ensure your survival. Defeating an Elite provides you a relic. Now let's talk about how it meshes together in battle. Start your turn with your draw pile being shuffled then placed into your hands. You can either put up a defensive wall with your cards that provide block, or you can go on the offensive knowing that your enemy isn't going to attack. Once the turn has ended, cards go into the discard pile, rinse and repeat. The game mechanics of Slay the Spire may be simple at a glance. Attack, block, and your turn. But the more you learn about the Spire, the more complex it gets. The cards, the relics, the enemies, each having different ways of working together. And to know how they synergize between them, each other, you'll have to take on the Spire to figure it out. To go against the Spire, you will need mastery over your deck over your characters. Your resources are limited in the spire. Gold, cards, relics. Be sure to know what you're doing. But with every battle, you're in control. You control how the fight goes with your cards. And that is Slay the Spire.